What's up, guys? Uh, bringing you the next installment of our high round strategy for the map pack or the map zombie map Ascension. And uh, you should see us hitting up the box here because uh, my friend's out of ammo for his big super gun. I call it the camera. Or no, someone called it the camera, but um, he's out of ammo for this thunder gun. But he uh, picks it up really easily, or uh, he picks up an HK, which is really essential in this round and for our position right here. And I'm gonna explain a bit about stra a bit about a couple more strategies that we really use for high rounds. And, um, so we, um, we're going back to our regular spot. This is the spot here by the Lun Lunar Lander by PhD Flopper. But we get messed up. I'm charged killing the crawler, by the way. No, sh no crawlers get killed unless I come. <laughs> and we're, we're about to go get set up, but we, um, kind of get surprised here because it's a monkey round. Or, er, surprise, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's coming, it's coming. Is it almost there? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right now we got a monkey round, so we're like, oh my god, what do we do? And, um, we've done, like, three of these already, so, um... What we did do, we um, kind of prioritized Juggernaut because we all had more perks, but we realized Juggernaut was the most important at this point. So we all ran our asses over to Juggernaut and uh, we set up beside the machine. I uh, set up at the bottom stairs right here and I don't think I was really too prepared to guard this one because look at how much ammo I waste. The monkeys are really small and hard to hit. They're, I, don't, I don't like monkeys. They're, they're too small and annoying. <laughs> but um, the best thing you can do is angle yourself like perfectly perpendicular. I don't know if you guys know what that word means, but yeah, <laughs> perfectly perpendicular with the stairs, so you can kind of shoot them and then shoot a bit ahead of the, the monkeys too, so you can kind of nail them and they run in your bullets. Because the monkeys otherwise are just really annoying and just kind of a nuisance. God, Treyarch, why you do this? This would have been a perfect map if it wasn't for the monkeys. Like, we could survive for like ever if the monkeys um didn't like mess us up like this. But um, them stealing perks at this round isn't that much of a big deal. You can let them go take perks. You don't really need a free perk. Because you have that, we have, or I have that many points right now. I've got 10,000 ready to spare. I can upgrade two guns and maybe buy, like, quick revive. Um, and with a light machine gun like this, getting points is really easy. And they're just shooting gas all over my face. <laughs> this is getting really annoying. So, um, while they're shooting gas all over my face, um, we're kind of looking for the last ones. Oh, and if you guys didn't know, the color of their little suits, spacesuits, actually tells you which perk they're going for. If you've seen the, like, a bit earlier on the start, I kind of killed a, a green one. That, that guy was going for sleight of hand, and the red suits were going for um, Juggernaut and all that. And um, if you successfully ward them off without them touching the any machine or stealing a perk, you get not only a max ammo, which you get regularly, and you also get a free perk. I was lucky enough to get sleight of hand, which is really good for a light machine gun. But it's random what perk you get. So um, we're back to launcher by PhD Flopper. <laughs> and um, I'm guarding this window for my friend here while he, while he gets here. Um, this is really not an ideal place for a light machine gun. It's more of a ray gun or ballistic knife place. A ballistic knife is really amazing for um, locking down a window. Ballistic knife plus the sickle, I guess. But um, yeah, my friend's like, yo, man, you can go now. Go shoot zombies up front. Because uh, if you have a light machine gun, it's best that you be up front taking on the main horde of the zombies because your bullets will travel through and you got lots of them and you just can rain continuous fire down on them. And um, once again, headshots are essential. And um, I'm going to discuss strategy for my friend Nick, who's um, up in the corner right in the scaffolding to the left of me right now but when I turn around to the right of me I guess <laughs> so he's up there it's um I call this the PhD flopper strategy when friends death machine is like that's da 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 <laughs> anyways this is the PhD flopper strategy what you do is um you get on top of that scaffolding with PhD flopper what PhD flopper does it is um whenever you dive bomb or whenever you um belly flop I call it the belly flop uh but you kinda you make an explosion like in a nice radius around you and it also negates all fall damage so you can dive from as high as you want and um, as long as you dive, but you can dive from as high as you want, and it will not damage you whatsoever. So basically, what you do, what that, what he does is up there is when the traffic at his window is isn't like too great or too um, tedious, I guess. He kind of just dives down every once in a while. We see him like belly flopping into a whole horde of zombies, it, and it really helps us out, like thin out the horde and um, not like get overrun easily. <laughs> so just look at this guy. His just his leg was higher than his head. That kind of tripped me out. I was like, wait. Am I upside down? <laughs> um, so yeah, so um, we're killing zombies. Once again, um, we have fire cell, but don't break your formation. Just go get a random mystery box weapon. It's not worth dying to get a to weapon for 10 points. Remember, don't be a greedy bastard. <laughs> and um, so yeah, so the PhD floppers really comes in handy. And uh, PhD floppers are one hit kill until about round uh, 33, I think. So um, PhD floppers are a really good thing to have. But it's also an extra perk to guard. And like I said, perks really don't matter for zombie zomb monkey rounds. Because you can just buy them back. At, at this, at this like stage, you kill enough zombies to get get your points back. And it's really essential that everyone has Gersh devices. I do not have a Gersh device at the moment. I think I have the Marshushka dolls or Machioshka dolls. Damn crawler! Die crawler! Die! <laughs> but um, Gersh devices are really good. If like the zombie t hordes getting too like intense, just kind of throw one. It's like hey, have a break. 
Um, we got the ballistic knife upgraded in our party. It's a nice handy tool to have, so we revive him easily. And um, in a bit, I'm going to illustrate the strategy for why we have the launcher here with us. It's kind of a nice escape. If, if um, we feel that we're getting too overrun, or if someone's running out of ammo, we um, we play it real safe and go when we're not like we don't have too much in, too much zombies with us. But um, after you launch off at the lunar liner, the zombies will go around and kind of like meet you there. So um, they will leave this area entirely and leave the path to this area, the path that we take anyways. Um, so in a bit, you're going to see us take the Lunar Lander and launch off and have some fun. My friend has the upgraded crossbow, which acts as monkey bombs, if you guys didn't know that. And it's not really good to use it too often. And I'm um, going to have to pause. Uh, sorry about that. I um, heard someone in my house. So if I don't post another video, I'm probably dead, and you should probably call the cops and tell them to come to Dr. Friesburn's house, because <laughs> something bad happened. <laughs> so, um, yeah, back to about the, lun the Lunar Ladder strategy. It's only meant to be used, like, towards the end of a round, or, um, possibly, like, the mid-area, because at the beginning, if you try to make it back here, because it's a pretty great distance between the centrifuge room and, uh, this Lunar Lander area that we're in, uh, so if the in the beginning, if you try to make it back here, they will wreck you. The zombies will just pour out through the even if you fight off the initial, like, the wave that comes at you when you land, I'll show you in a minute, um, the zombies will just, like, storm in through all the windows, and then will start spawning randomly throughout the map, which is what you don't want. You want to control where they spawn, and basically they will only spawn around us and, like, over there. So basically we put our backs to a wall, and they only come from one direction. That's what basically gives our strategy something. There will always be strategies when, uh, there will always be stragglers when you land, but, um, I don't even know how we survive here. Just the sheer brute force of the, <laughs> the ray guns that we have, um, kind of helps us survive. But anyways, yeah, don't do this towards the beginning of the round or else you will be fucked. <laughs> or messed up or just wrecked. So that's, all you, that's all you should do. Sorry for swearing, but, um, emphasis. <laughs> that's the thing. So, um, basically I form a conga line, kind of trying to follow us, and I use the HK to just clean them all up with headshots. And, um, that works really well. <laughs> My headshot count's probably about 150 right now, 100-something, at least. And, uh, <laughs> it's, it's really nice. So, um... I uh, pick off this last straggler here, and um, Nick makes a crawler, and um, that's about it for this round. Well, I'll be back next time with more tips, tricks, and sexy things for the zombie for the new zombie map pack ascension. Well, not really new anymore; it's kind of old. And um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you all, new subs for subscribing. We love you. I'd kiss you, but that'd be kind of, you know, you might not be into that. I would. Ah, I just want to show my appreciation. So, um, comments if you got any comments, if you're anything I missed. Uh, like it if you like it, subscribe if you think my voice is sexy, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Later, guys.